Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, something a little different. Today is August the 1st, and I've made a decision about something, which is that I've decided I'm going to do Vlogist. I don't know if you're familiar with these things. There's like Vlogist and Vlogtober and... I don't even know, Vlogmas and other ones where like in uh, Vlogist, you're supposed to, I guess the idea is you're, as a YouTuber is you're supposed to do a video every day of the month. Uh, which ends up, of course, being sort of like a, a vlog, you know, of your life. Uh, and I've never done it before, but I just thought I would do it, maybe try it this year for a couple of reasons. Um, the first being, um, and these vlogs are going to be this vlog, they're going to be very casual. So if you're going to watch it, it's just not going to be a highly produced thing. It's going to be very casual. Um, really the reasons I decided to do it, um, are it's, it's a challenge. I've never done it before. Um, I just do videos on specific content usually, and that's what I do. So it'll be, uh, challenging in that respect to try and remember to record something every day uh, and secondly uh, because I have felt recently like when the pandemic first started if you're watching this in the future this is the year of the pandemic so in March when everything really kind of broke out with this uh, coronavirus pandemic um, everything shut down businesses and all of that so in March everything shut down and I was kind of like directionless for a while you know I'm only working part-time I'm semi-retired but without work you know without any sort of set schedule it just sort of was weirdly weird um, and disorienting but I did get used to it and sort of enjoyed it and then when things started opening back up um, I thought we would you know go back to work which we did for a little while and then um, we got laid off again, which for me is, it's fine. It's just part time, whatever I have, uh, what do you call it? Passive income. So, and I'm semi retired, but, uh, I noticed now that it's August. So this has been going on for quite a while and I am starting, there are starting to be many days where I just wake up. I do this morning work on the computer that I do almost every day. And then the day just disappears like it seems sometimes I don't really do anything or really go out and do much of anything or go for a walk or I take naps and a nap after a nap and then read a little and and then it's like it's two in the morning all of a sudden and I'm like well I didn't even what happened like I've been having days like that lately so and I think it's not a good thing I don't like it so I've decided that uh, I am going to in this month of August Give myself some structure. Uh, I'm going to like make a schedule up for the week. Uh, what what other than the vlogs, what videos I want to film because I'm kind of behind with where I should be on that. What specific videos I want to film, uh, specific projects I am working on that I have been working on, but uh, you know scheduling that. Uh, making sure I go out every day if it's uh, like I, I haven't been doing daily walks because our some of our stores have been open so like thrift shopping and stuff I've been doing so I've been going out but if I'm not gonna do that because you can't just go out and buy crap every single day I mean what are you gonna do with it um, although I could you know entertainment wise I could do that what am I gonna do with it I live in a studio apartment so I can't go like shopping every single day and looking at stuff uh, so like in the beginning, I was doing walks every day and was really good about that. So I want to kind of go back to doing that if either going out shopping somewhere to do something or scheduling a walk, you know, and making sure that I do that. So I'm going to just put a little more structure and I'll kind of show you that process as as I'm doing it. I haven't done it yet. This is August 1st and this has all just come to me today that this needs to happen this should happen so and I guess you know the vlogging daily I, I I'm gonna do my own version of vlogist I'm not gonna post a video every day I just think that's too much and who the heck wants to watch somebody every single day I mean I'm just gonna like I'm and then some days I'm probably not gonna film very much it might just be a little thing because I mean let's be honest it's a pandemic a lot of things are shut down there aren't 
activities and festivals and concerts and parades and there aren't things to go to because you know nothing is happening so it's going to be me talking and me doing little things and me going out for a walk and me going to sam's club or whatever i mean that's what it's going to be but anyway so there's not a lot going on yeah but we'll talk more about that anyway that's what's going to happen so it's august 1st and i'm going to show you what I'm doing for dinner. So the excitement never ends here in Vlogist. But first, here are some pictures from my constitutional walk this afternoon along Waikiki Beach after cutting my hair, which I've been doing for quite a while now. So before I start dinner, um, there is a project I want to do right now uh, in my little kitchen at part of the reason I don't like showing um, or have been hesitant to do vlogs and whatever is just because my apartment is so old. It's like a 1950 something 60s built. Everything's original in my unit. It's very old and like the refrigerator is kind of rusting and it's all kind of gross looking so i'm i think i'm always a little bit embarrassed to show this part of the house but you know what whatever i think we're just going to go with this so one of the projects i want to do right now is take some of this wax i've been burning these candles and they are almost all empty and i don't want to burn them anymore so i'm just taking out what wax is left because there's still scent in them. This one's a Bath and Body Works uh, banana cabana. This one's like a tri scented one, but I'm the vanilla apple is what's left. And I already had this on the burner once. And then this one, lemon verbena, I've had on the burner. Um, the whole time because it wouldn't really burn as a candle. You'll hear more about that on my candle empty video, which I'll probably film tomorrow or very soon. Anyway, I'm gonna use the last of this. So I have something on the, the melter right now and I'm just gonna take, which is a peppered lemon, peppered something, peppered mint, I don't remember, peppered mint tea, yeah, peppered mint tea, something. And I'm gonna take this, I can't even find the front, this, all of this, and throw it in that container as well. So all of those five things will kind of mix together and create a monster Frankenstein melt, I call it, which will let burn for tonight and if it still smells tomorrow. So use up the last of the scent. And here's the peppered mint tea, which has been melting on here for a while. So this should all be melted, and it is. And I'm going to pull this off, and I'm going to put the container in here. I'm not crazy about this melter. Um, it works, but I just feel like it's not a high enough heat that it doesn't really, um, whatever. I don't get as much scent out of it. But I'm just going to take all of that. I should have done this the other way around, but... Uh, great, so let me just get wax over everything and that will be amazing. Okay, now it's now it's got all that in there. It's all going to melt together and it's going to be a big weird scented Frankenstein melt but I'll get the last scent out of that. Okay, we're back in the little kitchenette. My little kitchenette. And uh, I'm gonna, I had a hankering for uh, macaroni and cheese recently. So I thought I would make some because I love boxed macaroni and cheese, but I mean, the truth is I'm diabetic and this white pasta is not the best thing for me to have. So it's better if I can kind of make my own uh, and I'm gonna do that. So I got, and I'm gonna make a, a hamburger helper kind of version really. I got some ground beef, which I'm going to use. I usually use ground chicken or ground turkey, but they didn't have any, so I just got ground beef, which is okay, but I do prefer ground turkey, actually. Uh, and I got 
almost at the end of this, I got my whole grain pasta for um, elbows. I use usually whole grain or some kind of mixture of whole grain and regular because it has a lower glycemic index, so um, which is better for you if you're diabetic to do that. And I'm going to cheat and uh, I could make the cream, the cheese sauce from scratch. It's not like it's super difficult, but I'm just going to, I didn't feel like it. So I'm going to cheat. I just got this Tuscan herb Alfredo with white wine, uh, which already has like Parmesan in it anyway, but I have more Parmesan and I'm just going to dump this shredded cheese in it. And I think that will do the trick. I'm also going to uh, fry some onion in it because Onion and garlic, I want to put in, I love garlic, but I've lately really liked using this garlic powder because it's super easy and it tastes good. And it's garlic, so, um, I mean, it's not like it's some weird synthetic thing. Then I also got these little peppers. I didn't know if you've ever had these, but I'm going to chop these up and put them in there also, uh, along with the ground beef. And I love, I love these things. These are really good. If you've never had them just to eat, like just to take them out and rung, 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 eat little peppers they're delicious and they're not hot or anything they're very kind of sweet and lovely I like these okay and that's gonna be dinner so I guess I'll show it to you I'm not gonna go through the cook this is not the French chef okay I'm not gonna go through the cooking process but I'll show you the end uh, which reminds me looking at this shirt the other thing I wanted to say about vlogging I don't know if I said this earlier but I intend to not post a video every day because it probably won't have enough material, but I'll probably film for like several days and then put up one vlogger's video for days, you know, three, four, five, and six or whatever. However it works out. When I have enough to do a video, I'll do a video. I might have enough on this first day because I am not shutting up tonight. Um, part of the COVID-19 thing, I guess we're all inside more and not seeing as many people. And I guess like at work and stuff, I tend to be really chatty. And I, I'm not now because I'm who am I talking to myself um, oh yeah the other thing I mentioned is the shirt uh, the other reason I hesitated about doing a vlogist is because normally when I'm inside at home I mean I'm in Honolulu Waikiki it's hot it's warm I don't wear shirts around the house I just don't you know um, but um, you don't want to see that so I'm gonna you know wear them when I'm vlogging so I'll go through more shirts more laundry <laughs> whatever I mean I would anyway now if I'm gonna be going out walking and everything again so that's okay but yeah more shirts sorry this one's not ironed or anything because I just had this idea today and I went for a walk in this shirt and this is what I'm wearing so it's wrinkly yeah very ghetto very low low uh, low tech this vlog vloggist thing is going to be so if that really turns you off sorry and don't watch it you know because whatever but if you're interested this is my life i think a lot of people think if you live in um waikiki which i do that everything is super amazing and glamorous and whatever and it's super beautiful and i love my life and everything but trust day to day it's not that exciting but that's okay because i kind of like that all right, I'm gonna make dinner and I'll show you how it turns out. So I've got pretty much my hamburger ground and uh, everything else going on here. And it dawns on me that I wanna get some of this grease out of here. I already got a little bit out of it, but I wanna show you a trick I learned on, Ra I think it was Rachel Ray 30 Minute Meals a long time ago. Uh, a good trick if you don't like to drain meats and use the lid and spill stuff all over the place. I'm not very good at that. You can just kind of push, push your, whatever you're cooking there to the side let some of this come out and then drop a um, drop a napkin or paper towel in there paper napkin and just soak up some of the grease that way I kind of like that idea so look at all this gooey goodness I got all this cheese melted in here in this alfredo sauce and we're just gonna take this whole grain macaroni that we um, just drained mix this all together and dinner is served and there it is 
I put a little more Parmesan on cheese on top. Dinner is served. And I think that's going to be it for today. The first day of August. Thank you for joining me. It can only get less exciting in the days ahead. <laughs> So if you can stand it, tune in for the next video of Vlogist, whenever that will be. I'll film every day, but I'm not promising I'm going to post every day because I may not do anything to really post. So when I have enough to do another video, I'll post another Vlogist catch-up video. Okay. Happy August 1st. Have a good day.